Let us get used to the square root terms. Now, since we are starting quadratic functions, uh, where we do have a discriminant, which is b square minus 4 square 4 ac square root. So we need to find square roots many times when we are solving quadratic equations. So that is why we are having this exercise of understanding how to work with radicals. So let's express each radical in the simplest form. So here we have square root of 8 to the power of 7. Now square root of 8 to the power of 7 should be seen as kind of square root of a to the power of 6 times a. I have purposely written it like 6 because if you write even powers then you can do half of them, right? So this can be simplified as a cube and then within square root we have a, right? So this could be a much simpler form than this, right? Now the next one, a to the power of 5 b cube. Now we could do half of both. When we do half of both, we get 5 divided by 2 and 3 divided by 2. Now 5 divided by 2 is, so I am adopting a different method this time. So I'll, I'll write this as a to the power of 5 times b to the power of 3 to the power of half. Since square root really means to the power of half. And if I apply laws of exponents, I get a to the power of 5 over 2 times b to the power of 3 over 2. Now 5 over 2 is 2 and a half, 2 full and a half. That means a square and a half means this. Do you see that? 2 and a half. And same, b is 1 and a half. So we could write this as b and square root of b. So this is another way of writing the square roots in a simpler form. Do you understand? So that is how you can write. And of course you can combine and it is always good to write these two together. So we should get this as equals to a square b and within square root a b. So that is the simplest form in which it can be written. Let's look into the next operation. Here we kind of combine the previous ones, right? So first let's simplify them and then see if it can be combined. So the first expression is 4 times x to the power of 5. That means x to the power of 4 and then x, which means x square square root x. You could also get it by 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half. 2 and a half. Do you understand? So you can do either way. Now here it is 2 times x times 3 and a half. 3 halves. So 3 halves is 1 and a half. That means x square root of x. Do you see that? Now we can combine these terms. 4x square and this is 2x square square root. Do you understand? So 4. So let me first write this as 4x square square root x minus 2x square square root x. Now 4x square minus 2x square is 2x square. Therefore I could write this as 2x square square root of x. It's very important to go through this exercise and understand how we simplified these radicals since you will need this while working with quadratic equations. Thank you and all the best.